Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Logan Burgess. Today is April 4th. The outside markets are a bit lower this morning. We have the Dow down 150, oil down $2, and the dollar seems to be rallying pretty hard here on the heels of FOMC minutes here that were reported yesterday, showing no signs of additional quantitative easing. If you take a look at the dollar chart, this is the June chart, and you can see here that we have found support right around the 79 level. And I believe, you know, I look at this, I think this looks like a very uh, nice looking consolidation, a nice, it looks almost like an orderly bottom here. And I wouldn't be surprised if we move higher here going throughout the summer. Logan, what are we seeing in the grain top? Yeah, Cody, well, we do see uh, corn kind of trading here unchanged right now. Soybeans, leader to the upside in the grain market. We see soybeans up nine on that old crop contract. New crop only up six here this morning. Uh, you know, wheat kind of the leader to the downside here, down around 11, both in Chicago and Kansas City. Uh, that may be the result of a stronger dollar index today. We know the wheat complex in general is sensitive to relative strength out of the dollar because it has uh, great implications for our ability to export wheat. Uh, that's kind of what we're seeing right now in the markets. You know, f fundamental news that came out late yesterday uh, in the trade session. As you can see, Informa here has actually raised their uh, expectations for a corn acreage out of the 2012 crop. They're looking for around 96.4 million acres. That's up from 95.5 million acres that we saw last month out of them. Soybeans, kind of an interesting story there. They're now looking for 74.2 million acres out of this soybean crop. Still higher than what the USDA uh, said in their report on Friday, but this is down from 75.1 million acres, uh, which is what uh, Informa was reporting uh, last month. Interesting to note here, when Informa compiled this data last month, they were seeing corn having a profitability premium per acre of about $120 over soybeans. Obviously, corn is king in that situation. We've really seen the soybean market rally, though, recently, and uh, now they're kind of on an even keel. Corn and soybeans uh, equally competitive on a per acre basis. Informa is really saying, though, that soybeans is going to have to continue to rally. They're going to have to continue to, uh, to give farmers an incentive to move some of those acres from corn into soybeans here. Well, that's what's going on in the futures market. Let's take a quick look at the cash market here. You know, I what we did is we took a look at the spot cash basis or the the cash bid uh, from September, and we compared that to the July contract. Now, this is what happened last year. We know last year we had pretty strong basis, especially later later on in the summer. And you can see that improvement. There, by the way, the reason that we did this, the reason we compared it to July contract, was because we wanted to remove any kind of rolling of contracts, so the effect that basis would have there. So you can really see here the true improvement in basis. This is in 2002. Uh, we went back 10 years. We looked at the strongest, and it happened to be the last year we looked at in 2002. The, you can really see it, we started out strong, but we really capped our gains in basis right around that minus 5 level. We really couldn't get a whole lot higher than that. We'll take a look at where we are this year. This is where we are right now. We're right at that area where we capped out. And so I guess I look at this and say, if you're a student of history, you may, you may think that, uh, that we don't have a lot of upside potential in basis. And, and, uh, and perhaps storing corn for a basis improvement uh, is, is unwise and, and that you really may not see a whole lot of improvement here going forward. Yeah, Cody, you know, a lot of, a lot of people right now are uh, kind of bullish on that old crop corn after that shorter than expected uh, quarterly stocks report we saw come out on Friday. You know, maybe if you are bullish on old crop corn, um, maybe try to lock in that basis. Uh, sell in the cash market or, uh, or buy a futures uh, call to kind of take to capture that upside potential. Is that kind of a yeah, good play? Is that what you're thinking about? Yeah, right you now? make a really good point. Is that, you know, if, if you're trying to play pure basis, I'd say the upside potential is is really limited right, right now. So you can lock that in by selling spot or by or by locking in a, a basis contract in the right. cash market. Now if you think that prices are going to go higher, if you think overall prices are going to go higher, you can always reown that in the futures market or with an option. That's actually what we do here. Uh, we have uh, a $7 commissions per side and uh, and we also have a great fire tip trading platform. It helps you guys uh, really monitor the market, monitor your trades, and uh, and execute your hedging strategy. So give us a call if you want to find out more. Our number is 877-472-4607. We'd be happy to help you out. Have a good one. We'll see you on Thursday.